And let's also tell you that the Tertiary Education Fund, Trust Fund, TET Fund, has said the recent monetary policy of the Central Bank of Nigeria has created difficulties in the payment of foreign scholarship tuition and stipends. The Executive Secretary of TET Fund, Sonny Echono, disclosed this at a one-day stakeholders' engagement on emerging issues with a TET Fund intervention in Abuja on Wednesday. Echano said since the fund's allocation was barely enough to service programs on the tertiary scholarship for academic staff, the fund was considering suspending foreign scholarships while also considering an upward review of local scholarships. Now, joining me live is Dr. Peter Ogudoro, an education researcher, for more on this latest development. A warm welcome to you, Dr. Ogudoro. It's my pleasure. Now, yeah. Now, Dr. Okudoro, uh, TET Fund is coming up with another reason why it needs to suspend uh, foreign scholarships aside the allegations that beneficiaries abscond after traveling back and don't bring back uh, much of that knowledge uh, to Nigeria. Do you think this latest excuse of the Forex crisis is genuine enough to suspend their scholarships? No, certainly the answer is no, because Education is actually um, a major tool which you can use to solve uh, the myriad of problems uh, confronting us as a country. And so if you want to save money, you don't save it by uh, refusing to fund education, especially education that has to do with upskilling mm. uh, at the level of um, higher education. Uh, because the people you are sending abroad are the ones who are going to acquire high uh, level skills and then come back to uh, make it possible for... Yeah, but, but Dr. Guduro, that comeback part is where they're also complaining about, that this guy's abscond after uh, getting the degrees and when they complete their education. So how do we mitigate that and ensure that this investment in educating uh, this Nigerians is fruitful? Yeah, well, uh, it's important you also put appropriate conditions in place back home uh, so that the they will find um, the conditional environment they need to be able to return home and use that knowledge to make a huge difference in our country. Uh, from my uh, the evidence I have as a researcher in the industry, um, that doesn't look like you know where we are. And most of the time, people go abroad and get trained, especially those of um, them in the sciences, and they get trained with high technology only to come back home and discover that the technology which they have become used to abroad, are not available uh, back home in the universities where they are returning to, con you know, to con continue with their work. So if you want them to come back home, uh, br bring uh, also, uh, you know, put in the, 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 make the effort to uh, put the technology in place and also enhance their conditions of service in terms of remuneration and uh, make sure that you, you continue to give them access to the rest of the world so that they will continue to do research and interact with their uh, uh, mates and colleagues and, and friends across the world by way of attending conferences, seminars, symposia, et cetera. That is not the case uh, at the moment. And I think that that is very discouraging and we shouldn't, um, we shouldn't think mm -hmm. that the way to solve that problem is to refuse to send more people abroad because we, we don't have an alternative at the moment. We haven't got great professors here, really, who can, um, who can fill the gap that professors in, in places like you know, Oxford University, uh, we Sheffield, Manchester, uh, uh, Stanford, etc., can you know can avail us. So let's not um, uh, cut our nose to spider our face. We will be doing that. Let's, a, a, a let's not throw away the service. baby in the bath water. Now, uh, Doctor Ogudoro, you would agree with me that three hundred and twenty billion naira is quite a significant amount. But Ted Fund has said that the three hundred and twenty billion naira intervention fund is not enough to run its programs. What do you make of this? Yeah, the, well, even you, the way you ask that question suggests that you also find it, uh, you know, ridiculous, <laughs> you know, scandalous, <laughs> that uh, that amount of money is, is too small to, to make a significant difference. What they need to do is to prioritize some disciplines. Uh, so instead of, uh, let's say, sending uh, 200 people abroad, we can reduce the number uh, to maybe even 80 and make sure we look for those areas that will um, make a critical difference in our society when those people come back. So we need we need to train more physicists, more, more, more mathematicians, we need to get more chemists, we need to get 
more people into robotics. We need to get more people into software engineering. Those kinds of courses, those are areas of, of critical need. And that's where the world is. And we should also be looking at where the world is going to. So it's not just about number. It's about, you know, the quality uh, of people, uh, you know, we're we are bringing back home uh, after, we have, after we have trained them. So I think that the thinking that um, is influencing the kind of statement coming from Ted Fund officials is, is thinking that we need to refine and probably improve upon. Mm. Now, Dr. Ogodoro, before I let you go, during the course of our conversation uh, tonight, you've said that it's important uh, for knowledge sort of transfer for Nigerian professors and education professionals to get a sort of uh, education from the best universities in the world. That's why it's called a university, you know, uh, acquire knowledge and then you transfer uh, locally from Harvard, uh, Yale, Oxford, Cambridge, and all of that. But let's look at this angle. TED Fund is considering an upward review of local scholarships. We do know uh, the level of education and the amount of uh, research that Nigerian local universities go through. What's your take on this? Is it a better alternative to look inwards and consider an upward review of local scholarships? That, that, that was not the original thinking um, that informed um, the establishment of, of TED Fund. Uh, because um, as a matter of fact, there are alternative ways of funding, you know, uh, uh, young people to, 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 to go and do their master's and PhD in Nigeria. As a, uh, you know already, the uh, federal government has uh, established, uh, you know, a loan, a loan facility which people can take and use it to go and, uh, you know, study in Nigeria. So we should live, 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 um, you know, local programs for that kind of program. That fund is, is, is meant to upskill uh, university lecturers so that um, they can do much better job than they are doing currently. We already know that um, the quality of education uh, our children are getting in our universities um, is not what we, we have always prayed for. And we can't upgrade it if we keep looking in words. We need to get more innovative. We need to interact with the rest of the world. We should face the truth that all of us know that our professors are not, most of them are not at cutting edge level with respect to doing research because we haven't been funding you know, research and upskilling for many years. And so if you stop sending people abroad now, um, you will definitely uh, be creating more problems than uh, you know, providing solutions. So it's, it's not, saving money is not, it's not the kind of thing, especially when it comes to education, it's not the kind of thing that Nigeria should be uh, uh, you know, considering at the moment. It's very, it's very unfortunate for us. We should use some of the money we are saving from uh, the removal of oil subsidy. And of course, if we plug all the uh, you know, holes we have in um, how much money we make from our crude and uh, ensure that we stop people from stealing the money from our crude, we should pop a significant you know, chunk of that money into funding this kind of program we are discussing. And probably see if we can network with more private sector organizations and get them involved. The people working for Ted Fund too should get more enterprising and look beyond what the government provides, you know, to look for money and 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 uh, okay. other collaborative uh, uh, arrangements that will make more people benefit from education abroad. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Peter Ogudoro. I do appreciate your insights, your frank assessment, and your candor on the subject. Uh, thanks for your time. Yeah, it's been my pleasure. Thank you.